Hey, what's going on my fellow reefers? Fragbox TV, March here. I wanna to talk to you today about some very, very cool mushroom corals. Look at these, what, what, what? Mushrooms, 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 mushrooms. Not the drugs, the corals. Um, I was going through the tanks and I noticed we have a ton of different varieties of mushrooms. So that kind of gave me the idea for today's video to slow down and talk a little bit about the different types and what's going on here because there are uh, quite a few different ones and they're relatively easy to keep. So mushrooms are a soft coral and you have to have to check out Tia's Fluval Evo 13 and a half gallon here. We've done tons of videos on these. I can link a couple of them in the description, but she's gone absolutely mushroom crazy, especially on this rock here. So one of the cool things about mushrooms because they're a soft coral is that they are not going to, okay, sorry, generally, they're not gonna hurt each other with the exception of maybe some Yumas or Recordias. They can touch one another. So these are all Rhodactis and you can see they're even touching um, some Zoanthids right in there. And soft coral generally safe with other soft coral. Over here, she's chosen some nice Discosoma species. So that's one cool thing. Oh, there's a nice little orange and kind of black Yuma in there. Nice thing about soft corals is they can butt up against other corals and they might outcompete some of them because they grow faster, but they're not gonna sting each other the way that LPS corals like hammers and some euphelias and torches do. They're not, they don't have that aggressive sort of sting. That was my sidetrack for the day. If you guys have seen any of the other videos we do here on Fragbox TV, I get sidetracked quite easily. But anyways, let's take a look at what we have here. One type of mushroom is Rhodactis. So these ones we just got in, they're the craziest purpley blue sort of, let me turn on the white lights actually, then we can really, really see the color of these bad boys. Never mind, my apex isn't listening. They're really, really nice purple Rhodactis. This is also Rhodactis mushroom, so not the fastest growing. Mushrooms in general um, do grow pretty quickly. The fastest in my experience is gonna be this type right here, which is called Discosoma, which will be the same as these ones, the interstellars and these tiger lightnings right here, which are absolutely crazy. So Discosoma sort of have this flat, smooth appearance, whereas Rhodactis are a little more, I wanna say bumpy. It's kind of hard to describe the difference, but once you know them, it's quite easy to tell them apart. These are Florida Recordia, which look like no other mushroom, except for maybe Yuma. So we get that question a lot, what's the difference between a Yuma and a Recordia? Uh, it's kind of hard to say as well. One is kind of like, I think the recordias are just more bubbly, if that makes sense. They got more bubbles going on. And I think you find, no, yeah, they both have lots of crazy colors. Actually, mushrooms come in just about every single color you can imagine. And their prices will vary quite dramatically based on the color. So something like this is gonna be a lot less expensive than something like this. This is uh, a really, really nice one. And then uh, there's another type of mushroom like this one over here, bounce mushrooms. So they start to get these inflated sort of vesicles and then they can get really, really expensive. So something like this here runs about 150 bucks for this size, but it's very easy for bounce mushrooms to get even into the thousands of dollars for one single mushroom, which is sort of crazy. This is a mushroom we don't get very often, St. Thomas mushrooms. Very, very rare, at least for us here in the store. We do not get these often and they're super, super unique. They're kind of like Rhodactis meets Yuma meets bounce mushrooms. They have these kind of inflated vesicles and tons of polyps. And if you have a chance to buy one, I would do it because you, you really just don't see these ones too often. This is also apparently a Rhodactis. I just call them a hairy mushroom. I actually just shot a video a couple minutes before this one that I'm gonna post. Uh, it's one of the easiest corals to keep. Mushrooms in general, if you're just looking for a low light, non-aggressive, easy, relatively fast growing, look for mushroom corals. And it's just cool that there's so much variety in them. Like these are all sort of the same species and family. This is really nice right here. It's kind of like a bluish, yellowy green. It's really hard to describe the colors and the camera uh, almost never picks them up. Like what they, it's not accurate to what they look like in person. These are much, much nicer in person, I think, than the camera is actually showing off. Here is another nice assortment of Florida Recordia. These are probably one of my favorite when it comes to mushrooms. I just love the 
the bubbles on them and you can stick them together so Florida Recordia won't kill each other. They'll kill other corals but they're safe with one another. It's very common to do gardens and there's so much variation so the contrast is really nice when you have sort of the oranges and yellows and greens next to each other and you often get this different color mouth like this one here. The way they split is really cool too. It's different than other mushrooms. They form this new mouth and then they'll kind of just like pull, uh, pull away from one another. They create this, this valley and then they split, which is different than like discosomas will just drop little babies all along the bottom. Let me see if I have an example. Uh, right here, so you can kind of see growing off to the side, they'll drop like these tiny babies and then those will become full-fledged mushrooms when they're nice adults. Right now they're still in their baby formation. When we get in new corals from the wild, this is an example of a wild-caught Rhodactis uh, rock. So you can see they just kind of take over the entire thing. So mushrooms need something to attach onto. They're going to grow onto rock or, or rubble. And if they're unhappy, they'll actually let go. Their foot kind of lets go from that substrate or whatever they're hanging onto. And they'll free float in, in your aquarium until they find a spot that they like. So that can be a little annoying um, if they do that because you can't glue them down. They need to actually be attached to something before you can stick them to a plug. What we do here in the store, if we ever have any loose ones, I stick them in these, uh, we made these kind of little custom acrylic baskets with rubble. And we'll just give them some time, usually, I don't know, maybe about a week until they attach. And then let's see this guy here, if he's attached already. Yeah, you can see, let me try and flip him for you, sorry. So you can see on the bottom, he's attached his foot to this rubble. So now what I can do is glue this piece of rubble to a piece of live rock. If I tried to glue his body directly to a piece of rock or a plug, he would say, no, thank you, sir. And he slimes up and he's just gonna let go and start free floating again. So that's just one thing to keep in mind with some mushroom corals. There's another really nice St. Thomas. This one's crazy right here. This is the one I'll leave you with today. That's it for today's video on mushrooms. If you guys got any questions, comments, please feel free to hit us up. I'm going to leave our email address at the end of the video like I always do. Feel free to contact us if you guys got questions about mushrooms. This is a very, very nice fire mushroom. We don't see these too often. And yeah, that's it for today's video. This has been another episode of Fragbox TV. Thank you very much for watching, guys.